<laughs> Silverback said, why did I buy all the panchroma and break the website? <laughs> Welcome in, Silverback. And I see Kenneth Slang. We got some bits from Tech Jeeper. We got some uh, excitement going on. And so let's see our faces. Are we ready to see our faces? Oh, Hello thanks, and Austin. welcome to a special edition of the In Printing In Color printing Show. In Printing Color. <laughs> I never get to announce that one. So uh, yeah. welcome in everyone. Today we are here to witness, uh, we're going to actually witness the launch of Panchroma, something that we've been wanting for so long now. So got my coffee ready because it's a daytime stream. I can drink my coffee. This is Polymaker Teal. And then some, yeah. My, my iced coffee is almost over. Yeah, and this is a daytime, daytime Teslas and zombie hedgehogs. So we're, we're much Amazing. brighter. I'm I the same color change as my, always uh... because it's always super bright in here. <laughs> yeah, and it's not always super bright in here. Oh, look, I kind of got like a, there, a polymaker teal going on with my lights. Let's see if I can, if I brighten it, if it makes a difference. Let's oh, dear. see. I'm using my stream already. deck. I am a pro streamer with my stream deck. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, so we're kind of waiting. We're kind of waiting on things, but there are things that we can share with you and things that we're excited to share with you. Um, and also, of course, if you're going to buy any filament today, I have an affiliate link and I'm like, just at, I'm just at the, the edge of being able to like cash out a commission. So you can help me and then help the stream, um, with that. But, um, let's, let's talk about what we can talk about as we, as we wait for everything to, uh, to launch. And then Zombie is going to share what we can see already and, uh, go from there. So, um, I am not going to be covering Fiber on on imprinting color because what? of course it is. That's the most beautiful color ever. Carbon yes. fiber filaments. Oh, just beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. And I'm very excited about that. But it's not color in that sense. Yeah. But uh, with Fiber on, of course, um, you can master composite materials with Fiber on, democratizing high performance composite 3d printing filaments with a comprehensive range of material properties wow so very launch fancy. of fiber on introduces three one two three 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 new fiber reinforced materials to the market so we've got uh pet cf 17 pet g uh r r c f 08 and pps CF10. So I can tell you a little bit about these. You can tell the, me all about those. Yeah. So the PPS CF10 is an ultra performance filament with heat deflection temperature over 250 degrees Celsius. It has a metal like stiffness. If you saw from uh, people's footage at um, Rapid, they actually printed a bell with it. Um, it has chemical resistance to a wide, wide range of acids, alkali, alkalines, fuels, and solvents, and it's naturally flame retardant. It can meet UL94V0 standard. Uh, PBSCF is dimensionally stable, insensitive to moisture, and compatible with or without compatible with or without a really? print enclosure. That's actually kind of yeah kind of important i'm actually very excited to try out the pps i you know i'm always looking for the next big engineering material and to be honest i don't really use it too much like i i've made really silly things with the the fibron-esque <laughs> fibron-esque materials right but i'm excited to try out some real projects coming up using fibron and some of them you haven't even heard about it's a secret yeah so. So Soon. with the uh, so with the uh, PET CF seventeen, it's tuned for high speed composite prototyping with superior surface texture and stiffness. The PET CF seventeen delivers strength, low shrinkage, 
dimensional accuracy without moisture sensitivity concerns. It also combines the best of strength, speed, and surface finish into one highly compatible uh, composite filament. I know everything about it, right? You know, you literally know everything. Yep. And we could probably everything. share the, the actual, you yes. know, we could yes. probably share it. Um, with PETG uh, RCF08, this is an entry level composite filament featuring recycled carbon fibers billed as the PLA of engineering materials. This RCF08 use, utilizes carbon fibers from end of life wind turbine blades. These fibers are certified to the global recycled standard by Tuv Rhineland. Uh, the PET RCF08 inherits the printability and performance of PETG while gaining enhanced stiffness from the carbon fiber reinforcement. Uh, you can print high speed moisture. It's uh, sorry. It prints at high speed. It's moisture insensitive and a uh, low creep. Low creep. Um, yep. Uh, with exceptional dimensional accuracy. Pet G RCF08 strikes the perfect balance between affordability and functionality, empowering users to quickly create durable, accurate prototypes. Shoosh shoosh. And are we going to link that? Do we have linkage? I linkage can't. and lack of shrinkage. Yeah. So we're looking at, of course, uh, some some information that is and now available. And if you want to look at all of the Fibron filaments, they're all on the same website. You can you can sort between them. This is just the landing page. And if you want to buy them, um, they're not added to the store yet, but you'll click shop now and that'll bring you to the, the page once they're added. But today is special because we're going to be hopefully witnessing the launch of Panchroma and uh, Fibron on the website. <laughs> So that's kind of why we're here. Uh, I think there are, let's just say there's so many colors that this is a challenge to launch. Isn't that, isn't that a good thing to say? Absolutely. Like there are so many colors, all the colors. It's crazy. So colors, Austin, you know a little bit more. One of the reasons, oh, also welcome to Imprinting Color. This is your first Imprinting Color and um, we're thrilled to have you here. Um, so you know a little bit more about printing with with the uh, fiber on materials. What would someone need to print print uh, with fiber on um, filaments? The probably the the biggest requirements are um, generally fiber on materials will print at a higher temperature. So you'll need a machine that is able to print, let's say rated for 280C around that 280-300C. And you'll probably also need a hard nozzle because a lot of the materials are fiber-based, fiberon, right? Glass-filled um, and uh, carbon, carbon-filled. And then with some of the polymaker filaments, uh, specifically the the PA line, historically you haven't needed an enclosure, so you can print nylon materials without an enclosure. It's kind of insane. I've printed out many things. I did my death racer, the chassis in uh, PA, I think PA 12 with no enclosure, just open air, perfectly fine. No warping. In fact, the bed temp is even super low. So you'll find that these are very easy to print accessible filaments from Polymaker. Uh, but some of them I still need to, you know, I still need to try out the PPS I have no experience with. So I'll have to see what it's like to print that. And I'm still just kind of playing around PTG. I did a test today of the regular PTG, but we're gonna try out the new lines. What are you most excited about? Which one in the Fiberon are you most excited about? Fiberon? Uh, well, I tried out most of the filaments that I could, so. Mm -hmm. I am most excited to try the carbon fiber PETGs. So we have uh, PET CF17, which is not PETG as far as I can understand. It's PET mm -hmm. um, CF17. So a really heavy carbon filled PET, kind of like the material your water bottles are made out of. 
that that's going to be interesting to try find some applications for that because you get some extra heat resistance and extra stiffness from the carbon fiber so seems like the ultimate kind of quick and dirty um testing fill or uh, you know testing filament and we have a hype train <laughs> nice. thank you everyone for your resubs and 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 your enthusiasm we're super excited for uh for what's to come um so i guess do we want to start talking about pancroma do we want to uh i think we need a little more you know, hype before we get to pancroma <laughs> yeah yeah let's let's yeah. build up the build up the anticipation absolutely yeah let's get excited let's get hyped shoosh shoosh do you want me to uh Actually, I have something. This is this is actually a present for for Austin's son. Son, <laughs> I was at, I was at Farmer Pre and like they were, how dare they have something? But this is also very Pancroma esque. Yeah, so look, look at, at that. this little Squishmallow Axolotl. So this will be a gift that Austin brings back from 3D Printopia for his son. I like very to provide nice. the presents, and so oh, it's got the cutest little furry ears. But the funniest thing is is um. Uh, this axolotl shares the name with um, Austin's wife, <laughs> so it's, and also the description the description of of what this axolotl's abilities are is very similar to to his wife making lists, keeping things organized, and and all of that. So, thank you, CP Geek. Yes, we're 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 super early. Oh, I'm, we're on a giant projector. projector. Nice. Yes, yeah, today's a special day, though. Today's a special day. Not only do we have an axolotl, panchroma esque, um, uh, you know, squishmallow. We've got zombie. We hedgehog, have. And we panchroma. have panchroma. Look at this Ew. beautiful sight. Oh my god. Um, when Polymaker, they they step back and they said, okay, how are we going to market? beautiful filaments because their lineup has gotten too big right too big because they had engineering functional um pretty all of the stuff kind of meshed meshed together so what they did is they took all of the super pretty filaments and then shoved them over to panchroma with new marketing so panchroma's been marketed i don't know how to explain it but it kind of reminds me of like target right like uh like a really, really very well, pretty, very pretty, well yeah. marketed, definitely modern, um, modern marketing. So as of right now, the colors are about to be launched. So you will probably be able to buy some of them today, assuming that the, the launch goes well. Uh, but there's just so many colors and styles. So do you want to go through them? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so excited. So, um, we're not going to see everything right, right up front, but we do have some information about some of the filaments, some of the filaments we should be familiar with too, because for example, regular, that would be what we just considered just the PLA colors of Polymaker. Um, what I do know and what I can share with you is that there are going to be some extra colors added to that lineup. Um, I'm just going to see, I'm going to grab some of my, some of my extra yeah. notes here. So I, excuse <laughs> me for one moment. I, we're, we're, uh, we're running off information that we've been given. Um, I don't uh, know what I'm allowed to share. That's the issue. Yeah. Um, I will say that I don't believe the goal is to fully replace the existing no. lineup. This is an addition to... Um, the, the existing lineup might change going forward, but this is going to be a add on to that. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That's what we can share. So for new products that we're going to see out of the, out of the, um, the Panchroma regular, um, just, j just be aware. These are going to be like primary colors. That's what I can say about that. I can say they're going to be, they're going to be primary colors. They're going to be colors that you're familiar with. Um, but it's just now it's called regular which is pretty cool yeah um, regular when like comes... what kind of film between oh i just want some regular filament yeah <laughs> so it's the same as like the the poly light for example you know that's that's basically what you're going to get and the mat from what we've been told and what's been shared before is the mat is going to be is a it's a 
enhanced formula um, based on Polyterra. So some of the issues that you might have, everything in Panchroma right now is all PLA. Uh, Tech G for just asked a question. So it is all yep, PLA at this, at this at this point. Um, it's the a way material. to sort of, uh, sort of to distinguish. Um, that doesn't mean that the possibilities for other um, other colors and other things are are impossible. You know. Um, yeah. So when it comes to the mat, it is going to be, uh, of course, very similar to uh, the to the uh, Polyterra. So yeah, we'll learn a little bit more about that. What what has been announced? Um on actually i think one of sam prentice's videos is that they are with this new formula they're looking to have higher speed printing with better overhangs i don't have the full notes but i think you might but there's a lot of benefits to the new formula so i don't know uh do we have a list of which which filaments have that new formula um share no. that? <laughs> i okay. don't have that okay. but i do have um let's see uh, Panchroma employs a number of extrusion techniques in order to create their filaments and the combination of these techniques with the multitude of color uh, expanding the filament offering exponentially. Filaments are divided by their extrusion process, then surface finish, and finally the color. So as you can see, extrusion process for matte, for celestial, for galaxy, for satin. So to further assist customers with their workflows, Polymaker is developing a web-based tool that will allow you to create uh, realistic digital renders um, based on different panchroma colors and surface finishes. That will be cool. So Having the ability to see really what your print's cool. gonna look like, like yeah. that's pretty cool. And we have a note from Nightcore. Panchroma Regular is the only current new formula filament. Okay. So regular is going to be, uh, actually that's, that's funny. So regular is gonna be the <laughs> kind of like tuned tune filament from what I can hear. Okay. All right. So Matt, we understand Celestial. Oh, wow. I wish I wish we had pictures <laughs> of Celestial. Um, okay, very soon. We do very kind soon. of we I, I kind of have pictures of Celestial, but they were like sneak previews from from Rep Rep festivals. Um, oh, yeah. So okay. Celestial yeah. is we'll wait and see if they change is is going to be um, I kind of think of Celestial as as um, Starlight Starlight Pastel. It's it's okay. it's a more yeah. uh, more um, um, in the good sense more of fine, a more fine, fine uh, glittery um, goodness, like very shiny, and, but and also in pastel colors. Yeah, um, we do know that there is a color that is essentially periwinkle. I think it's called blue, but it's got it's got enough um, enough of the uh, the shimmer in it that it does look absolutely. Oh, and it's more translucent. Mm, um, that's going to be it's so got, nice. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, there is, I think, for launch, there's going to be a color that's based on uh, green, but a nice. Well, you can almost see it there. Um, a beautiful, beautiful green color, and then yeah, I think the, there's a more a more purple color too. But the the um, the shift, the color shift in it is to die for. I I actually like it caught my breath when I saw the when I saw the prototype for the uh, the blue color. It it was incredible, be, and of course celestial, which is kind of cool. I actually named this line, so that's my yeah. excitement. I need I need to get a celestial emote so I can be like <laughs> celestial, but. Uh, if you are on the Polymaker Discord and I active am. enough on the Polymaker Discord, you can join what's called the Awesome Squad. So the Awesome Squad meets Thursday evenings and basically you are the consumer panel for Polymaker. Um, we have presentations about uh, new, uh, new filaments. Um, you are asked your opinion, your thoughts, and... Um, yeah, and and you can share what what uh, what your wish list is for filament, and also when an idea comes up, you can help the the polymaker team sort of hash out the the details of of colors. And That's there are people awesome. that have yeah Wednesday evenings 10 p.m. Eastern. 
So get active on the Polymaker Discord. There's all kinds of, um, you know, there's all kinds of application areas. Participate. If you have a knowledge, uh, a, a knowledge base in, in something specific, share your knowledge. Also, um, for Meet the Polymaker and also just in general, make sure you share your completed makes, share, share your projects, and um, yeah, reach level 15 and you're in. So there you go. So that's, and, and take part in, in all the different activities. There are application stages where there are people that are application ambassadors. So for example, um, our friend Pete is a Lightbox ambassador and he does every single Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern, he does a session. There's a whole schedule on the Polymaker Discord and you can learn more about 3D printing for business, um, remote control. Uh, we also have the maker chip slash um, coaster um, ambassador. I think that's coming up on Sunday, a new one from, from Kevin. But just go through the schedule and you'll see all the amazing stuff that people have going on in the uh, Polymaker Discord. So, yes. And welcome in everyone. Everyone new. we are talking about Panchroma, uh, which will be available very soon. Very soon. Um, and we of course, right at the edge of the launch. And yes. speaking of launching, um, Galaxy needs no introduction. Galaxy is definitely, I have to say one of because I have so many favorite colors. But if I had to pick one color, one color line, it would be Galaxy. Uh, if you have not experienced the Galaxy filaments from Polymaker, uh, they are just absolutely beautiful. And it's hard to describe because the the flake, you have to see it in person to get the true effect. The flakes are very big and bold and very colorful. So as you can see from this, this kind of preview, you have really large, colorful uh, flecks. I think I'm you introduced most of us. You introduced the majority of us to Galaxy. Well, okay. So way back in the day, way, way, way back when I first kind of joined the Polymaker squad, um, that was kind of the fun color, the Galaxy Galaxy line. And the fun color was Galaxy Dark Blue. Like that was their, it's, it's crazy to think of, like that was the color to get. So I said, you got to get the Galaxy Dark Blue, Galaxy Dark Blue, such a good color. Then they started expanding into um, starlights, metallics, uh, neons, luminances, all those types of things. But my core favorite is still going to be Galaxy Dark Blue. Just, I don't think I have any close by but it's um it's gorgeous i love it is that it's really nice it's a dark blue it's got purple and turquoise glitter in it yeah yeah, yeah that type I, of it's that type of color so i'll be and... interested to see what they launch for panchroma right yes there's we're gonna see we're gonna see some more so something new that's coming out is satin yeah and that is not uh, honestly used with silk yeah, I don't, I'm not wondering how that's going to look. Um, I'm going to have to get all of these and test them out well, and see. On but awesome satin is really we, nice. We have seen, we have seen uh, some, some samples of the satin. It is absolutely beautiful. It, it, um, it reminds me of the holidays. <laughs> like that's, that's the first thing that kind of comes to mind when I saw the satin colors. It's just, it's just a finish that I think, um, We've needed. We've definitely needed. So I'm I'm really really excited to see what comes of the satin. Um, and a lot of these things are like the an awesome squad. We were still naming some of the colors. We were we were still sort of approving or uh, offering some some uh, you know some suggestions. So uh, it's going to be awesome to to share all this with you. And of course, I will be sharing this entire range of filament with you. Um, here on Imprinting Color and also on socials and, and other places. So I'm super excited to be able to share that with you. You know, I'm most interested in you always find the right the right model for the right color, right? Like you're able to look at a color and say, huh, that would look awesome in like fix some dudes Jeep. Like you know exactly what what thing to print. So I'm very excited to see what you're gonna use to show off these colors. Yeah, that's the I'm, biggest I'm... thing for decorative <laughs> filaments. You got to find the right it's gonna model. Be, 
it's gonna be a challenge and a half and i can also see myself approaching designers and saying i have this <laughs> filament is can there you make something... a model for it no but even no is there something from your catalog okay right um yeah I, and i'll be going <laughs> through the archives because that's one thing that i think you discovered recently with um finding uh fix some dude's hamburger model which was yeah. a super hit at rocky mountain that was awesome. If you look through the backlog of people's catalogs, there's some beautiful stuff they've designed. So, uh, yeah. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Yak Drudge, I believe they are trying to launch them uh, parallel to each other. Yeah. Uh, obviously, and, and, if um, you can, buy filament from their website directly. That's the easiest to do, and yeah. uh, you'll get the best results from that. And remember, if you are purchasing from Amazon, check to see who the vendor is. Because if it's not if it's not Polymaker, you're not guaranteed fresh stock. You're not guaranteed, you know, it could be a third party seller. Yeah. And I, I find just... I've ended up paying way more. So Yeah, you're best. Hi Giggy Jack. Website. Nice to see you. Fellow Nova Scotian. Um, yeah, so so we're talking, of course, about the Panchroma, the new Panchroma line from Polymaker. Everything old is new again too. Um yeah, Jack George, you won't see anything yet. And and also Canada will have separate dates. So, and my mom is here. Everyone say hi to my mom. Hello. Um, yeah, so I these are earrings by um, by our friend Grain. Um, she has them up on Maker World. And I thought they were the closest to Panchroma. And also maybe we'll make a Panchroma, uh, Panchroma earring. Ooh, oh, my sister's here too. That would look too. really good. The whole family's here. Uh, also, we do have a Polymaker giveaway open. Thanking everyone for showing up on a, on a Thursday afternoon. So bang ticket. My mom says, hello, daughters. And there's the son you uh, never wanted. You're my wow. brother from another mother. There we go. I'm, I am. I'm thank And also, Austin, thank you so much for being here today. I know you have a day off. So thank you for using yeah. part of your day off to, uh, no to join. For, I might need to bounce uh, eventually yeah. but be here as long as I can okay so next up we have starlight and what we know about starlight is there's going to be at least one new starlight coming soon oh We're that's going to be a good one are you very excited about so the about the uh, uh the new starlight um and uh i'm just ugh, i'm too excited what i'm okay what i'm most excited for <laughs> is to see what colors are launching because you know, we as part of the Awesome Squad and and such, we do know some of the new colors that are coming, but we're waiting for them to be released so we can share them. I know, be, I know. It's gonna be it's so like, good. It's like uh, it's like um, when you know what someone's gift is gonna be, and you're like, open it, open it, open it. <laughs> so that's the right, that's exactly. The and I think that you and I are probably two of the uh, the most like people. Two people that get the most excited about filament, for sure. Like, yeah. we get way too excited <laughs> about filament. It's it's all it's almost disturbing. All how brands excited of filament, we get about filament. Right? There's so. always new and exciting filaments coming out. Yeah, and Polymaker oh, has yeah. they've grown so much in the last couple of years in terms of colors. Like we, there half of these lines didn't even exist. In fact, there's only like a couple before this. Like I was saying before. Oh yeah, I have some galaxy colors, Ooh. galaxy prints. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if I can share these. I'm gonna see what I can do here. Let's see if I can share these. Do, 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 yeah. do. That's we're about halfway, halfway through all the all the colors. And yeah. of course, some of these are um well-known colors under this new line but there will be more that's the goal is to have all the colors not all the colors but a lot of colors okay. like don't you just want to have one source for colors so this is of course uh intergalactic chocolate aka <laughs> galaxy dark so, red galaxy dark red intergalactic chocolate this is the galaxy black, I assume. Yep. CP Geek says 90% uh, of my prints are Polymaker black, blue, and purple ABS. Well, we're going to open your world to more colors. Let's let's open your world to even more colors. Got to use all the colors. Right. 
Now this is of course these on the zombie hedgehog color. Look at that. This is Next galaxy, thing. galaxy dark blue. Oh, I still remember the first time I printed with it, and I saw those turquoise, the turquoise, and the and then of course when you turn it, you've got some purple, even like a little bit of like pink, and there's definitely pink and silver. Galaxy dark blue, it's gorgeous. And then of course this is the newer, newer uh, to the family. This is the galaxy uh, dark green. Yeah, I love that color. It's such a good, it's beautiful, good, good it color. Like, it's like, it's like, it reminds me of like the Wizard of Oz. Mm, yeah. Very yeah. Good. Super so excited. Those are the those are the existing galaxy colors, and they're just lovely. Yeah, more, so much sparkle. So more. you can see why you can see why I'm a huge fan of that, and I am, I am a. I'm pushing for more colors. Let's just put it that way. I oh, absolutely. All, all of the galaxy colors. So next up. Oh, and I, I will tell you for the celestial, um, there will be a blue, a green and a purple. So that's okay. I, I can tell you that much. OK, yeah. now translucent. I am so excited for translucent. I am I am absolutely thrilled and can't wait for you to see what comes in translucent. I have been working with the translucent pet G's and I mean, I had, I had excellent, <laughs> I just, you know, just pull a, pull a velociraptor off your floor. Everybody has a velociraptor on their floor, right? Anyway, the, the translucent red was absolutely gorgeous and we're going to see some beautiful translucent filaments in, in a PLA. You know, for pet G, of course, you have to you have to dry it, um, and there's there's tuning for that. But to have a translucent PLA um, for my maker chips, um, I was using a Flash Forge translucent, and and it super cool effects. Um, so with the translucent uh, PLAs coming from Polymaker, I'm really excited. I think they're starting out with four, and it'll be really fun to see what people do with that. I can I can picture. People doing stuff with Hue Forge. Um, if anyone has seen what um, Steve from Hue Forge, his dad, has been doing with Hue Forge with Pet G, he has made stained glass and essentially a stained glass effect. And it's two separate prints that you put together to get the effect. And most of his have been birds so far, and they're absolutely gorgeous. And I can see that happening, of course, with the translucent PLA. Um, so I'm really excited to see what happens with that. Also think about um, Christmas ornaments. Um, I'm always about mixing filaments. So imagine doing like a Christmas ornament that's got the translucent um, candy cane style things. Uh, it's going to be super fun. Uh, so translucent, I think they're, yeah, they're starting it with a few colors and then um, expanding from there. So that'll be fun. Do you have any thoughts on translucent? Translucent's one of those things where they they can stand out on their own, but I think we're going to see the most benefit from multicolor prints with translucent because you can have different features of a model that's translucent and it gives that really really nice effect. Um, I saw Hue Forge being listed too. Like that'll be a great use for Hue Forge. A lot of people are doing the stained glass look prints. And that would be great to use just regular PLA for. Yeah. And the other thing with the stained glass prints is that if you're using all PLA, you can do it in one print. If you have, uh, if you have, you know, uh, multicolor printing um, enabled, uh, you can still, you know, snap in and, and do things like that. But if you've got a tool changer or an MMU or um, an AMS, you can do it all in one print. And with the with the fun build plates that have, you know, the shiny finishes or the textured or even textured finishes, you're going to be able to do endless things. I'm thinking about earrings, right? I'm absolutely thinking about earrings and how exciting it's going to be to have all of the all of the earrings, uh, you know, um, in yeah, a row. Translucent here for that. You can yeah. combine translucent and celestial galaxy starlight, you know, combine the different types to give multiple effects. Oh my in goodness. Fact, Even translucent what, and matte. Yeah. I want to see what translucent looks like laid over galaxy. Right? Oh my goodness. 
Like yeah. there's there's so many so many options combining all of these different materials. Yeah. Oh, so UV shift. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> so UV shift, um, I actually showed on uh, a previous episode of Imprinting Color, and I I had the UV light on it and it and looked great. Then I took it outside. And I was just blown away. It was a cloudy day and the UV shift worked perfectly. Um, he's actually over here. I'm going to grab two things and okay. you can talk about UV shift for a moment. UV shoo, shift shoo. is a interesting, interesting filament that uh, I'd like to hear what your use would be. Um, I've heard some people using it to detect UV. So when you don't want UV, on something, you can print a little ring and put it on it, and you can tell if it's been if it's been put outside or in the sun. So that's one use for it. Um, I think I think the UV shift. I don't know if they reformulated it, but um, I think it might stain a little bit, so you can kind of has like a memory of the UV, so you can tell if it's been outside. I think that's kind of a cool cool effect. So this is the UV reactive. It did spend a lot of time outside mm -hmm. and it did not stain. Yeah, there you go. But this one goes from sort of, um, uh, it, well, it's sort of a natural color to orange. And it's really cool. But my sister made a cool suggestion that is UV shift earrings. And that would be fun because you could have something like this leaf. And when you go outside, it's like a, you know, you could know, hey, maybe it's time to put on some more sunscreen. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna find new new applications for everything. New applications for <laughs> UV shift. Yeah, uh, I think I think it's fun. And there's two different there's two different colors for UV shift currently. There's the um, natural orange and then the um, natural pink purple. I believe that's what it is. is it? So, yeah, yeah. So uh, so that's that's fun. Then we have of course temperature shift, which we're familiar with. Um, I think Austin actually did some bath toys with temperature shift. Yeah. Um, I just had strong. fun using ice and, and whatnot with the temperature shift. Um, I did this, this, we don't have the song, do we? The screwsy koozy, the functional can <laughs> um, which is on the end of my desk, which is a little too far for me to reach. Anyway, so I have my screwsy koozy and it's really cool in, uh, in, in the ability to, uh, to, of course, uh, show that the beverage is nice and cold because it, it, it went from uh, a lighter, yeah, a lighter green to a darker green. Yeah. Um, oh, I was talking about earrings. And of course, this is some shameless promotion of Zombie Hedgehog. Um, I didn't have a, I haven't had a chance to really share this everywhere, but this is a well, model coming yet. soon. Soon, soon, TM. From Zombie Hedgehog. And this is, of course, an earring. Uh, an earring assembly station. So it goes from the the earrings that I've 3D printed with all of the fasteners and hooks and things. Then they go up here on this station, the second station. And then the top station is when I have them carded and ready to uh, put in, in a plastic. Or of course, if you're selling them or something like that, you could just have them right up there. The fidget toy so. for me. It definitely <laughs> is a fidget toy, years. and I really like how you made it. So it's expandable and yeah, um, modular. and adaptable to what what you need it for. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's and also of course if you've got lots of earrings, it's good for earring storage. You could print just just this section. This could also, uh, if you made it even higher, you could hang necklaces. And um, yeah, mom, yeah. if you want, I can actually I can print one of these, and you'll have to assemble it. But um, and we'll probably send you the smaller version. No bearings. It no. does not use bearings. It uses Zombie Hedgehog's awesome skills. Patented he, chamfers. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, he chamfered. He chamfered it because I had originally printed one uh, from Maker World, and then I was looking at how it would go together without the bearings, and I had to use like M um, three by twenty screws and all these things. But this just this just comes together. Speaking of something coming together, I'm super excited. And then we're going to talk about neon. Coming together. We have from our friend Pichet, otherwise known as Pete, Shirtle, 
I'm, I'm going to wait for this to cool down. We have the Panchroma logo. Light nice. Box. I And I miniaturized it. One. Um, Gourmet Crepe, where the earrings come from? Everywhere. Pink has designed a bunch. Um, there's actually people in this chat that have designed some. Um, Maker World and all the places. So I can share you... Um, share you... Uh, share share with you my list so far and some of them of course if you're going to be selling them you have to be, be aware of the license for them too so next up we have neon something that we're very excited about of course we have some very bright colors in the regular pla you know we've got the uh, the lime green we've got the lemon yellow we've got um you know some beautiful colors but neon is something that we first saw with the pop colors and also there's neon in what what's the other who has is it a uh abs uh, abs yeah abs so that's the current yeah. lineup yeah so we are going to be spoiled with some neon plas and i can see some outrun fans and some uh fans of the 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 80s and 90s i can see oh my goodness yeah, if you've ever There's seen so many exciting things, race cars. If you've ever seen the the ABS line, you'll know that it's a completely different style of color. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how much it pops without having any UV or or black light on it. But then once you add but black light, it's crazy. Bob from California says it looks amazing in both regular and under black light. So yeah, that's yeah. one of the things that I wasn't. I wasn't a huge fan of the glow line, which is coming up next, because it's white. It does glow stronger than regular, um, like regular luminous, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But it's just white. So it's nice to have the option for yes. a colored filament that looks good during the day. So you're going to have... Um... Uh, you're going to have very similar colors to um, to the neon line that's all already available. So think about, you know, all of the... Oh, do you know what I think about Runt's candy or Punkies? So... Yeah, I, it looks like candy. That's it. That's what it looks like. It looks yeah. like candy. That really looks shiny, like bold, coated, yeah. sugary... Yeah, that, that's, that's what it looks like. Get out candy. your scrunchie. Yeah. So, uh, Bob from California is asking some interesting questions. Um, Panchroma is just going to be PLA at the moment. It's a way to expand the PLA. But, of course, we've talked a little bit about fiber on. And um, I think that if there is demand in those lines, if there's demand for col more colors, you'll see them. So, that's where, you know, we all participate in, uh, in the Awesome Squad also, anywhere on the on the Polymaker Discord, there's also a suggestion box. Essentially, that's you know, let let them know. Let all of the filament companies know what you want. I know that Gourmet Crepe is a huge fan of tri extrusions. Uh, Polymaker is not doing tri extrusions at the moment because they're perfecting all of these lines, and so um, that's where you can lean on other companies that do tri extrusions and and demand more and demand better. So. We uh, we do believe in in you know other companies can do lots of great things, but look what Polymaker's doing right now with this Panchroma. Mm. It's so exciting for us PLA fans. So we're very so excited glow? for neon, yeah. But glow, glow is a kind of a natural, like semi-transparent looking filament that glows a different color at night or under you know under black light. So. You're probably most familiar with like the the wall wall art stickers. You put like stars on the ceiling. My kid has some dinosaurs up. So that's the same type of material there. Uh, but it's PLA. Yeah. You can print it. So you can um, just like the translucent. I think glow would be great as an add on to existing prints. Imagine having like uh, a light yeah, box like with glow. A light box, but instead of it being backlit, it's just glowing. No stuff like that. Yeah, feel free, uh, Disturb Medic. Disturb yeah. Medic, if you didn't know, he does a lot of photography uh, for Polymaker. So in-house gets... photographer. Yes. All of the spools that yeah. you see, like at that at that angle, you know, like this angle, uh, the very consistent angle spools that everyone's like, "Wow, this is how you take pictures." Yeah, that's all done by the one and only Disturb Medic. So I do have um, 
I do have a light box here. I don't have the proper the proper uh, lighting for the light box. So I'll just hold <laughs> it up like this. There you go. This is, I did this on the A1 Mini. Um, so this is not with the rainbow lights already, but this is the Panchroma. And I actually did it with Starlight Twilight um, instead of black. So oh, okay. anyway, this is the Panchroma light box, which is available on um, on Pete's website, shirtle.com, free for download. So yeah, I'm have to have big signs of those backlit on the in the new studio. Yes. Yes. Featuring a lot as well, because you know, I like I like colors as much as you. We all we love colors. Colors, 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 colors. Speaking of colors, colors. Marvel filament has some color to it. It's a great transition. So yes. Marvel. <laughs> What's so special about marble? Um, I think that marble is definitely the filament of busts. Uh, it's it has um, it has a way of providing texture without actually um, some texture and and a little bit of um, you know a, yeah I guess with with the speckles that it yeah, that texture. it has it provides it provides texture that you don't get from regular filaments and. Um, I mean, I've seen it used for all sorts of things. I used a marble to do um, a stone cottage, which I painted too. Um, but the the marble effect actually, um, you know, those speckles they really helped uh, helped with the Christmas cottage. What what have you used marble for? Yeah, like you said, bus. That's a pretty big one, especially the the white. You know, because it's it's when you want white, but you want to have a little bit of extra something to it. It looks pretty good. I've been using it for a little while now, but uh, I'm excited for more colors, more styles of marble, more flat colors, because you know you can have the different color flex and different color filaments. So you can have quite the combination. The marble brick, I think, is a wonderful gingerbread color. It's also mm. kind of pumpkin spicy, but I, I want to see I want to see more um, more things printed with with that. Um, yeah, and of course, the the marble that we already have, there's the white, um, there's the slate gray, there's the limestone and the sandstone, and as I mentioned, the brick. And so they're great, like I said, colors for bus, but also for, for um, oh, the, oh um, the 3D, the, what is his name? <laughs> there's a designer who's made all sorts of uh, buildings. Um, 3D Mini. Uh, I, I I can't remember his Mike? name. Let me find it. Is it my no? Um, let me find it. Forget. Yeah, there's. I will all find it kinds anyway. All and also on uh, Maker World, there's all those cityscapes. Is it PA One Maker. Uh, no, PA One Maker does birdhouses and beautiful, beautiful things like that. But the one who makes the mini, uh, like the mini CN Tower, the mini, you oh, know, all of those okay. things. Yeah. So okay. let me. Uh, I'll find it. <laughs> of course, I remember everything until I have to remember it. Of course. Builder Robot says Retro Maker makes uh, makes buildings. So, yeah, there's all kinds of. Oh, actually, Retro Maker and uh, Builder Robot did this amazing um, the uh, the dinosaur the dinosaur the dragon <laughs> the dragon um, hut um, like a sort of like a Japanese garden inspired um structure that was really cool so let me see i'll send you a link to this web page if you want to take a look it is still in uh in development like we are we're kind of early on the launch but we're patiently waiting yeah, we're so for excited all these new colors <laughs> you're very so excited yeah I'm the other thing that you could the, use the new of colors. course um other thing to use marble for is things like um bowls and baskets um definitely you could use it for um um uh gridfinity would be really cool if you want to have a certain aesthetic like gridfinity for your bathroom bathroom decor and things like that bathroom and gridfinity. also of course hmm. yeah uh the, oh there's okay. all kinds of bathroom there's yeah. all kinds of bathroom <laughs> gridfinity and there are, there's all kinds of bathroom decor i know that um uh, free cart. He just designed a new container, like a whole, actually a whole shelving unit for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So 
The possibilities are endless. I'm just going to find this. And if you like endless, you'll like the endless glittery Mini world the metallic 3D. filament. That's what it is. Okay, there. perfect. Brain. Brain is now So clear. metallic. Shush, shush. Metallic is one of the, the interesting lines because, um, I don't know, it's, it's always been kind of, it's like the middle ground between a galaxy, a regular, it's like, it's really fine glitters, really, really fine, but it catches your, your eye just, you know, just perfectly in the sun. But I've been actually using a lot of the metallic colors for just like everything. It's my go-to generic, like black, gray now, all that stuff. I think it's definitely going to become my, uh, my go-to, um, my go-to, um, uh, black. I, I really enjoy the finish and, uh, yeah. yeah. So we are going to creep back on luminous for a second or not. Lum right. Oh, actually, no, sorry. Is this glow or luminous? Glow? I think it's glow. 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 Okay. Because I've been shared a few things. So yeah, very exciting. we will, um, grab that. So this is. Oh, these are these are Bugman bears. Of course. These, these are photos <laughs> from Medic. So there's the glow blue. Oh, I like that one. That's a little ghosty bear. Then we have this is uh see these are exclusive photos because they haven't been uh shared yet. So then Ooh. we have of course our little Frankenstein, and that's the glow green. Then we have a little pumpkin guy. And that's the oh, orange. It's a good, so, good models for that. Nice. Yeah. And there's all three. So, yeah, and lovely. of course we love Bugman. And if you're interested, Bugman has um, 757,000 really bears. <laughs> um, so his profile is there on printables. He does have some stuff up on Maker World too, but um, voila. And of course I always have a Bugman, a Bugman going. Um, this is not polymaker filament. <laughs> this is atomic, but um, I always have to do the, I love the the low poly bear. And that's a great way to show off, uh, show off a filament. So I, that's, it's one of my sort of like test things because the, and these are also really easy to give away. People love, people love We're the We're going to see a lot of Bugman bears with uh, the new Panchroma show off. <laughs> I, I just know because yeah, you're right. It's a good way of showing all the different angles and stuff. There yeah, go. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And they worked well with the glow for sure. The new colors will be available soon, soon TM. Soon. Um, some of the colors are being, uh, they're being launched as they're available. So it's a kind of thing where we have something new to share every week, but, um, there are some things that are going to be launched today. Um, if all goes as planned and that's why we wanted to share as much as we could with you. So, Metallic, of course, we've talked about how much we love metallic. Um, I'm a huge fan of the metallic magenta, the gold, the silver. Actually, I'm, yeah, I, I quite enjoy the metallic. I find that it gives you um, a really nice, it's, it's, it's similar to the starlight in that it's like a nice, um, you get such a nice effect from it. And um, yeah, it's just a stand up, stand up filament. Metallic is one so, of those colors where... I'll just, it's one of the colors that looks really good just by itself without anything else. But when you combine it with others as well, yes. like I, I can't remember what I've done, but I've done a couple of models that are all metallic and it just looks so good. Yeah. Really, really and the good. current lineup, we've got gold, silver, bronze, blue, which I absolutely adore. Um, we've got metallic, dark red, yeah, magenta. Chrome and uh, black. Yeah. I've done some of these in metallics and those will look yeah. good. I think only the little ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, of course. This is what I did in metallic. The, uh, this guy right here. This is all fun. Oh yeah. Metallic. That's Every all metallics. Color. Yeah. So nice. you got to see it in person, but it has a nice little sheen to it and it just adds a little extra. Yeah. Let's see. Extra let's bit. see it up close. Well, it's about as. There you, we you go. You got to buy it. You gotta buy it. You gotta buy it to see the colors. But there's a sneak peek. <laughs> so what's next? I 
Thank you for the 13 um, months. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Digital Dragon. Digital Dragon was just asking a question on Twitter. And so I actually wrote and said, oh. we're live right now. So um, his question was, when are these available to order and will where will there be different product line names or they just added to the existing categories so this is all pla presently panchroma and what they've done is um uh for for um the regular line of filaments you're going to see them sort some some sorry some lines of filaments are going to transition into these names um, and others, it, it you've already seen these colors. You've already seen these lines. So um, it just all falls under panchroma. So of course we know about starlight. We know about silks. We know about galaxies. Um, regular PLA, the UV, uh, the temperature shift, the glow, the marble, the metallic, and the luminous. They're all existing. Um, but so of with course, more colors to come. With in more those colors lines. expanded, and also, and and all of these will be tuned in. So, yeah, so stay tuned for even more uh, that comes out of these. Um, so Luminous is, is a really fun line of filament. I quite enjoy Luminous. Um, I did, I did a, a few different things in Luminous filaments. Um, I have one right here. I know I do, so let me grab it. <laughs> There's all the colors. So, to answer your question, course, Fabricated, it is Wexter's birthday. So I'm printing his uh, Gordon uh, Freeman yes. bust. Yes, and I will do a post on Twitter for Wexter's color. birthday. And also, I'm if you want you. to celebrate Wexter's birthday, shoo shoo, sh there's Wexter's models. And of course, his Patreon, if you want to support him even further. Um, yes, it's funny because his, his username on Twitter is Wexter2507. And it's the 25th oh. of July. Interesting. So, would you, would you Luminous look at Filaments, that? Luminous Filaments, um, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, they do require a hardened nozzle. Um, of course, my very favorite luminous filament is Nikor's magical filament, otherwise known as the luminous rainbow. But I have the luminous blue right here. And it is filament that um, on its own looks absolutely beautiful. But of course, you can have the element of surprise, as you can see from my UV light there, wow. where it does, That's it is very, UV reactive. And reactive. Uh, it you can really say it glows mm -hmm. so it is absolutely gorgeous filament um and i'm sure that we're going to see more from luminous but i, I mean at so. present we've we're super lucky to have um what do we have in luminous already let me grab that so in luminous dandelion. right now go ahead yeah luminous we have of course the rainbow we've got the blue that i just showed there's orange there's green there's pink and there's yellow so those are fun yeah uh dandelion so luminous the reason why i really like luminous is that it has a color when it's not yeah when it's not um uh glowing right so glow filaments are are a kind of a clear natural color that shine in the dark luminous actually glows uh, not glows. It has a, a color when it's not glowing, and it glows a slightly different color. And neon. Um, so it always confused me the difference between luminous and neon. So I think neon is just reactive, so it just reacts at night, but doesn't actually hold the charge. Uh, where luminous, it definitely stays glowing. It is a fairly abrasive filament, and I do. Um, some people have great luck with it in, in the AMS or, you know, uh, but I do recommend using it as with, on the external spool holder. So, um, we're not, we're not hundred percent. Uh, I mean, we're talking about panchroma does, does RC workbench, um, uh, for the ASA and ABS. I think that any, all of that depends on demand. So like I mentioned, um, join the polymaker discord. Um, if you are over level 15 in participation, then you actually get to be on the awesome squad, but also on the polymaker discord, there is essentially a suggestion box, um, where they are open to hearing your ideas and your suggestions. And, um, that's where oh. the, that's where the magic will happen. 
there is already a Neon ABS, which you can look at the website yes. and see the Epic, I think it's a Micron Plus build out of it. And it looks so good at night glowing and or shining you, under black light. What do I have right here in Neon? Oh, I have the Pop. I have the Pop ASA, not the Neon. My bad. I'm so excited about all the colors. So yeah. brand new, brand new to the lineup, we have... Um, actually, gradient matte will be the will is is what we saw before. So in the gradients, the gradient matte, of course, is uh, one of my favorites, which is the uh, the gradient rainbow. But, um, but that's just rainbow. This is gradient matte. So we're gonna see some more. We're gonna see some more with this, and that's do pretty good. Pretty exciting. Solar. Thanks for stopping in. So we are seeing some more rainbows. Rainbow. And of so, course, we uh, are huge, huge, we are huge fans. Oh, speaking of Wexter and his birthday, this is done in, of course, the Polyterra pastel rainbow, which is a gradient filament. So when people is call it, uh, people call something a rainbow filament, rainbow the you know, you might expect like an actual rainbow colors, but rainbow is really just defining that it's a gradient of colors going vertically up a print. So all of these gradient colors will have, might have like a, a, a rainbow color, but they might also have different gradients. So I'm kind of excited for those. Oh, and we have more models to show off. <laughs> awesome. But in the rainbow, let's talk more about, about the rainbows while I open so up the So there's currently four, four lines of gradients. So gradient matte with a nice soft finish. Gradient satin, that'll be new. That'll give you kind of a, a, a slight shimmer effect, which from my, my internal external market research, people really like satin finishes a lot. So satin will look great. And then translucent, that's another fun new one. Translucent colors oh, as a I'm rainbow so or gradient. Mm -hmm. And then the gradient luminous. So applying that that awesome dual shift technology with UV into yeah. a, a so rainbow. Speaking of rainbow, gradients. the gradient the gradient luminous. So this is, of course, Bugman's uh I think it's called Rob Bear, but it's a zombie bear. This is in just the just the luminous printed out okay and then right. there it is with the glow wow so it's it's it's, so a, cool. it's 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 so fun because they're both of them are absolutely gorgeous you know mm -hmm. it's super fun and you get the uv or the the blue light um on things it's so fun and of course this is the illuminous oh okay we'll just go through them i don't have them quite in order that's actually Bugman's cauldron i believe uh, then we have a nice little ghost here. Um, there's the luminous blue. Oh, there's the before and after of the luminous blue. So that's that's really neat because it shows almost like the shadow effects. Yeah, kind of. So that's we'll cool. we'll get rid of that. Um, oh, there's a bug man again. Look, look at the orange and the green, and then with the with the uh, with the glow effect. So that's super fun. Kind of holds a similar luminous color is, too. Yeah, when it's, when yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's not. Really nice. And then uh -oh. uh, we have, of course, the uh, I think the yellow kind of turns a green color, and that's a really scary looking candlestick. <laughs> Lovely. And okay, so we're gonna pause right now because it is Wexter's birthday, and Wexter is here. And if you don't oh, know dear. already, Wexter is. One of my favorite humans on the planet. He finally made a Jar Jar Binks model. Not only did he make the regular Jar Jar, he made Darth Jar Jar. And so I am going to quickly stop my camera so I can grab grab Darth Jar Jar. This is a pretty good one. The Statue of Liberty mini. I love the minis. And yes, I am printing a Wexter mini behind me. It's the mini Gordon. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so this is a game. This is a game color. that I'm going to play right now. Shoo shoosh. This is called Grab Every game. Wexter Model That I Have on My Desk. So oh, dear. I have, she has so many. of course, the 
the rainbow uh, poly polyterra pastel rainbow gradient giant Jar Jar Binks. We have Darth Jar Jar, and this is in the metallic red. Then, of course, I have my not so mini, but mini uh, Statue of Liberty. You can bang Wex in chat and also wish him a happy birthday. And not his, he thinks it looks like a cow. I still think it looks like a beautiful reindeer. This, oh, sorry. And I should talk about the colors that I'm using too while I fix the antler. So this is pop green. This pop. was metallic red. This was the luminous, uh, not luminous rainbow. Oh, I need to do a luminous Jar Jar now. And like hollow him out and put lights inside. Um, then in one of my favorite matte filaments, uh, we have the muted green. We have his reindeer. Absolutely gorgeous reindeer. This is a beautiful sculpt. This would be beautiful in marble filaments. Yeah, and... Uh... Uh, an awesome print. Oh. And I do believe someone just asked, are the new filaments going to have their own profile? There, There is going to be some integration with uh, with all of that, so stay tuned. And also, yes, um, happy birthday to Wexter. Um, he is, uh, like I said, he's an amazing designer, a wonderful friend, and um, an all-around great human being. I don't know. But, I have um, an issue with Wexter. Uh, it's a huge uh -oh. issue. Yeah, so every time I go to download his models, um, I have this file called bust, and then there's a little, like, parenthesis with a number. I think I'm up to, like, like uh, a, base. a base, yes. base, base, like, 35 or something. So, I don't know. I don't know about that guy and his, all his bases. He's very basic. So we need to, we need to fix that. Yes. We need to make that, that a thing. <laughs> Uh, everyone does it. It's not just him. Yes. I'm actually guilty of it, too. Yes, but everyone, thank you for wishing Wexter a happy birthday. And, of course, Wex will uh, we'll get to hang out. And, uh, oh, he Ooh, says, stuff in folders. let's teach Zombie how to organize stuff in folders. Oof. Shoosh, yeah, that uh, yeah that you should hurts. do my downloads. Uh, it's 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 gross. <laughs> actually, that that's something. Oh, and Shirtle's here. <laughs> Pete's here. And I have my... Miniature version of the Panchroma light box because I was trying to print quickly uh, on the A1 Mini, but uh, we've got the the beginnings of of a beautiful Panchroma light box. Um, I will be printing it in, in you know and having all these things. And look, my mom just wished you a happy birthday, Wax. So very nice. I mean, then your day's made. My mom wished you a happy birthday. What else could you ask for? So nothing. Yeah. So. Yeah, and so we're so excited about everything uh, Wexter's birthday and also everything Panchroma. So, yeah, rainbows. I mean, you and I love, love, love rainbows. Um, the yep. other thing that we also love is the dual filaments that Polymaker has. So, at present, we're looking at dual matte and dual silk. And I know that there's there might be some more duals coming. Secret. Shh, shh. Yeah, you gotta but have. With... Actually, you you let us know what what materials, what colors would you want as a dual? Because dual is one of those things where it's very specific, right? You have two very specific colors, and your prints are very uh, dual dual tone. So these are oh, not gradients. Yeah. So they don't not they gradient. don't shift upwards. They shift side to side. So it's a three sixty shift. Oh. I have a duel right here. One of my favorite duels is actually the mixed berries color. So the red and blue. That is by far my favorite. Because I love the uh, the fact that it's like so... I don't know. It's just special. Like it's, It really pops. I also love the shadow, which is the black-white. And then, of course, the red-black. And this is great for a dragon yarn bowl. Look at that. Look at the inside. It's the same color filament, but yeah. when you're looking at it from the front, you can see like the different colors on the inside. It's really cool. And it's really fun to uh, to actually you can calibrate these uh, as much as possible and have you know a split effect if you're looking yep. for that. You can I kind of YOLO when I do it when I do it. 
um, but I end up with a super fun effect. So the dual mat, um, again, we're going to see the same, uh, same beautiful colors and perhaps more. I also love things like, um, like baskets and, you know, bathroom accessories and stuff like that in the dual mat. I think it's a fun effect. And, um, yeah. And then of course for the dual silks, you've got beautiful effects. Actually, these earrings I have on are the Caribbean. So it's the green and the blue. And even when you print something flat, you end up with fun effects. So these end up being like an aquamarine color. Um, and then you see both colors, both colors uh, uh, show up. All right. And speaking of showing up, we just went over all the filaments. So <gasps> let us, yeah, let us click on one. Which one do you want to see? Let's do I regular. See. I, I know, I, but I also, I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. All right. <laughs> it is live. So, um, Bang, bang Polymaker in chat. Yes, and now Bang Polymaker in chat. Panchroma, and you have all of the colors, all of them. So let's, you know what? Let's jump right to Celestial. Let's do it. Is it live? Uh, nope, not yet. Not yet. But not yet. The, all right, let's start um, with basic. <laughs> We do oh, have panchroma gradient translucent. Oh, the it's broken. panchroma right, gradient on. translucent is live, and I could cry. I can uh, show it actually. I have it right here. Wait, panchroma here. what? Oh my god! Panchroma gradient translucent. Ooh, oh, it's oh, that gorgeous! Is cool. It's gorgeous! I love it! I'm so excited. Bang Polymaker okay. in chat. You can use my affiliate link. <laughs> And uh, also, we do have a Polymaker giveaway in chat, so um, you can uh, you can also um, uh, bang ticket, bang ticket. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go. So currently, if you want to be one of the first people to get it, it looks like it's we're we're experiencing the launch, right? So yes. click that link, and then that'll bring you to the site. So oh let's gosh, take a look. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at all of the all the colors. So yes. Starting with regular, we'll just yes. run, run through them all quick. Yeah. Uh, so this regular. Is awesome. Look. Okay. First of all, look at the look at the spool. That is cool. So that is one thing, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. One thing that gorgeous. was a lot of uh, we had a lot of feedback on is the labeling. So look at this. You see the net weight, the spool weight. You see the TD transmission distance right on the spool, with the hex with the hex code. You have the color, the series, the the bed temp, uh, printing speed up to. That's very interesting. There's an up to printing speed. Uh, more on that later. And then printing temp range, batch number, skew. All, all the info. So yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of the... Doesn't look like all the pictures are updated yet. Or I think they are, but they're just... We're getting there. We're getting oh, there. Oh wow! It's a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a lot. The uh, launch. But looks like we got the the same kind of color scheme here as we're used to for regular with the new formula. And then we have matte, which I think <gasps> will be. Oh my goodness! What is that color? Oh, that's a new one. This one. It's lotus pink. Oh yeah, Look lotus, at pink. lotus pink. We yeah. have been dreaming. I mean, it's oh, also yeah. a peony color too. We've been dreaming about this color. I could cry. I might cry. <laughs> okay, no, no crying. Actually, it's so new that there's no. Oh, sky blue. Ooh, that's a oh, that's nice my one. Goodness. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I have a smile like wider than. <laughs> okay, all right, keep going. So celestial. This is Liz's color. Her her line. So you have blue, which is really nice. I think that's... Green. And yep. purple. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for you to see the color shifts oh, in these. And there's low, oh, actually, low stock of some right? of these. People are going to buy them oh out like eight uh -oh. instantly. <laughs> okay, can we, uh, can we look at the models for those? Uh, oh. Are they up? Yeah. Yep, yeah, there you go. Wow, it's big. Why is it so big? So Why there is, is, yeah, that is gorgeous. There's the blue. I think, yeah. So it's, it's hard. Blue? It's really hard to see. We're gonna need some more like uh, like spinning stuff probably to really really show it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that looks you can kind of see the effects. Oh, that's it looks so minty. Super cool. 
and and it is a little more translucent than um yeah oh it's gorgeous it's gorgeous yeah, some of them already sold so, out these colors are already <laughs> sold out oh my goodness oh man so. well i'm sure there's gonna there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to get more uh galaxy uh i'm waiting for galaxy dark gray i want that color uh, but greens, all the standard oh. galaxies there. Uh, satin, that is a new line. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so satin. So what do we get it in satin? Satin, they are using the PLA Plus formula. So that's actually something okay. interesting. Um, or like that sheen. Because okay, so I getting... really liked PLA Plus, like a lot. It's a really nice color, but no one knows about it. So hopefully the satin naming will kind of push more people towards that. Cool. Uh, Starlight, I think we have, oh, Starlight Mars is Ooh. on the website. Do we see it? Do we see it? No, I don't it's think not we see showing. it yet. Nope. Oh, uh, here it is. Yep. There right it here. is. Okay. So you guys get to see it. Wow. There's your first look at Starlight Mars. Starlight Mars. That is, that is very is nice. Beautiful. That is nice, a gorgeous nice. color. Oh. That is very, that is very, um, oh, that, that reminds me of like fall, the fall season going into the holidays. I can see yeah. beautiful things printed with Starlight Mars. Oh, it's uh, gorgeous. Translucence. Oh, uh, <gasps> that's wrong. Oh my goodness. That's Starlight. Let's see what we have. Wait a minute. Okay. All the right, this is a little bit broken. Still, yeah. But we have, we have a translucent cyan. Uh, magenta. Trans is it magenta? Ooh, yellow, like actual yellow. yellow. What the heck? Um, gray. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So the actually CMYK. There you go. Yep. Very cool. Oh, I went back. All right. And I don't know if there's any new metallics. Ooh. Which. Uh, uh, Mm, not, not right now, like but there will be more. Uh, gradient Please. satin. Did you already show that one? No, we didn't see the gradient satin. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is... is dreamy. This is dreamy. That's a nice finish. That's a really nice finish. Satin rainbow. Wow. Wow. Interesting. So the nice thing about the satin is that it should be a little bit stronger than the pure matte. So I'm kind of excited for that. Uh, then you showed the translucent gradient. We have the gradient uh, luminous. And then dual matte. I think we have most of the, Ooh. most of the same colors there. Okay. And I think, I think that's it. Did I miss anything new? Uh, new? Neons, did we look at the neons? Oh, yeah, it's neon. Let's see, we have <gasps> neon pink. Oh. There you go. Neon pink. So there's oh. neon magenta. There should be neon red. Uh, neon green. This is the shirtle neon color. Neon green. There's there shirtle. Go. There you go, Pete. Shirtle green, finally. Been needed for quite a while. Uh, then we've got neon yellow. Neon that yellow. That looks really good. I'm excited. Yeah, just Very be patient. Cool. There, everything's gonna be updating. So yeah, you can, I don't think you can buy this. It's like <laughs> there's no way to find it yet. Yeah, yeah. But you can at least get a sneak peek. Oh, we've got neon, neon orange. Neon orange, which that is technically the color I'm printing behind me. That is. Oh, that's um, awesome. The early sample that's of awesome. neon orange, and it's almost done. So I'll show you that. And in do a we second. have neon red too? I think there's pink, um, green. Oh, yeah, there's neon actually. Red. Oh, sorry. There's pink green yellow orange magenta and red Gray so yep. look at those magenta Oof. oh my green, goodness that is the one yellow, of the pinks that i've been waiting for orange. i mean there's so many new pink so colors. there's what there is what magenta and pink yeah i'm excited to get my hands on those yeah this is Oof. this is a nice it's a nice People color it's for very pump. bright actually Bugman was uh, looking for a pumpkin color the other day yeah. So, all right. Very exciting. Is there anything else you guys want to see? I think oh, that's... Uh, in the dual, um, I think there might be a new color. 
at least dual. one new color in the dual. Dual silk. Let's we look at dual matte. Um, there might be a new color. Maybe it's not uh, launched it, yet. If, if it is, then yeah, it might not be launched. Yeah. So yeah, Check we'll give it some time. Matte. Check the dual matte just in case. Uh, I have to Maybe scrub through them. Uh, no, that's still okay. So okay, stay tuned. I think that's new. Uh, I th maybe they just renamed it because that oh. that one that one was available yesterday. Was it? Yeah, when we were okay. looking at colors for right. pink, pink has okay. a new model coming soon too. I just haven't pink really used a... much of those. Yeah. Wow. So. All right. So lots and lots and lots of colors. So the regular Panchroma regular is based on a new innovative formula to improve printability. So bridging and overhangs with more more temperature. Uh, variations so you can print it hotter or colder so you want to print it hotter so you can print up to 400 millimeters a second i'm sure you will find where it prints the best but yeah that's a this is a brand new formula so i'll be picking up some of these some of these spools some of them maybe all of them i don't know we'll see so <laughs> if there's any this video in stock. this video is going to be published to youtube because we want to share what we've shared already today i'm going to upload it right away but for All people right. who are in Twitch chat right now, we do have a Polymaker giveaway going. And so all you need to do is bang ticket in chat. And um, we're we're super uh, excited okay. to share Panchroma with you. We want to give you so the opportunity have... to uh, to try out some uh, some Polymaker okay. filament. Here's a, a bit of a, because this is still being launched, there is a new and old formula. So it looks like ah. uh, you have to click new for a lot of these. So it looks like some of these, they haven't been either stocked or fully updated yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, dark gray is is dark K2 gray. <laughs> yeah. That still exists. And dark gray is important. But oh my goodness, I'm thinking about maker chips at, with like all the that. new colors. I need that, I need these that. These are in stock. Yeah, these are in stock. You wanna pick up I the need, new I need matte them lotus all. pink? It's a very bright pink. I love the oh, blue it's gorgeous. too. It's gorgeous. It's yep. gorgeous. No light dark or dark light filaments. Darn. So yeah, check out uh, Panchroma. And of course, we also have fiber on. Um, so I believe the, let's see if the PPS CF10 has launched. It has. So this is an extremely uh, bleeding, bleeding edge filament. It's a very, very actually a very expensive filament uh so half a kilogram for 70 bucks but it'll allow you to do some cool things what i would use yeah. it for i have no idea that is <laughs> like beyond beyond my territory so if you want to learn more about this uh, check out the polymaker discord and see what they're working on there yeah uh, and but... there's a bunch of there there are some videos with pe people have done i know that um uh edge of 3d has done a couple of videos and there'll be some other people sharing their content too so but this i will is... be doing my my content will be focused on the uh uh the panchroma so yeah but and i'm this very is excited to share uh, all of it with you new film as well pet cf17 so a a carbon fiber pt not petg slightly different i think some people prefer the strength of pet compared to petg but don't quote me on that try it for yourself looks like that is still in stock and then we have the uh, PTG RCF8, uh, Recycled Carbon Fiber Filament. So that is there as well. Good price too. So half a kilogram. I'm not sure if doing bigger spools of them, but we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. So awesome. We're super that has excited. Been, that has been Panchroma and the the new Fiberon materials. So there's going to be plenty more. There's also poly dryers back in stock if you want to pick up one of those. I've been using and, my and uh, poly awesome. Thank you so much for thank you so much for joining me today. With all the moving parts, you know, one of us <laughs> needs to be paying attention to one thing, and one one of us needs to be pay, paying attention to another. So it's it, it's been my honor to share the first um, imprinting color guest um, with with you as my guest. So awesome. uh, of happy course, to be here. If people have not uh, not followed Zombie Hedgehog on all the all the socials, of course, on YouTube he's Hedgehog Makes that that will be linked on you on YouTube, and of course uh, here on uh, Twitch 
He's a zombie hedgehog. And um, usually. And we, of course, have a show together on Monday evenings at 10 p.m. Uh, called Z and Z. And uh, we like to share all of these things with you and more. Um, we deep dive into uh, different uh, um, different methods of printing. Uh, we deep dive into different printers and nozzles and all the fun stuff um, to do with everything that's new and exciting. And also going back to the basics with 3D printing. And so, yes. And of course, it says right on his shirt, Hedgehog Makes. That's where you can find him on YouTube. And he's got some really great printer builds. Um, Dude, currently, what are you working on? I'm currently working on a Positron. So I'm getting that all up and going. And I'll be streaming that next couple of live streams. And then I'm working on more more tool changer stuff. So I know everyone wants more and more and more custom tool changers. So that'll be my focus for the next half of the year. And stay tuned for that. And we will both be at 3D Printopia um, at the uh, at the end of September. So that's in uh, Bel Air, Maryland. And uh, it'll be super fun to, uh, to share with you all the projects that we're working on. Um, there's going to be maker chips galore, and all sorts of fun projects. And uh, of course, a good chance to uh, to meet us face to face. So that'll be fun. But we're going to have a very busy summer. You're also building a studio. Yeah, um, that's, I'm actually that's my main changing part right some Yeah, and I'm changing some things here because of course, I'm going to be uh, heavily focused on uh, 